welcome back. So, shoot. Okay, so I'm trying a new thing with my phone so that hopefully the video doesn't come out as this wide and makes it hard for you to see. But also, that means that in case it doesn't work, and I don't have to make two videos, I'm recording on my computer and I'm recording on my phone. So if I'm not looking, like if I'm looking at weird directions, that's why. Um, it's just because I'm staring at two screens. Okay, okay, cool. So, today, I've definitely talked about this topic before. Maybe not like in depth, but I know I have mentioned it because it's something that I am super passionate about. So, today we're going to talk about having passion for life. Being passionate about living. Um, and like I said, this is like something that's super, super, super important to me and something that, um, as I have strived to be more passionate in living and to be more passionate just about life in general, uh, that I know that I have grown, um, in the gospel and I have grown, um, in every other aspect of my life. So I know that this is super important, but it's also something that's like actually kind of low key, really hard to do. Um, and something that no one really ever teaches you how to do. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to attempt to do today. I am by no means an expert. So like kind of take everything I have to say as a grain of salt. Um, because this is what works for me. But what works for me is very different than what could work for you. Uh, because people are just very, very different. So kind of keep an open mind about it. But know that this is important to me. And that this is something that I do put into practice into my life. And I have definitely seen um, positive outcomes because of it. So, yes. So, I first am going to read a scripture. Alright. And it says, it is 2 Nephi chapter 2 verse 25. And it's a really simple scripture. And it says, Adam fell that men might be, and men are that they might have joy. So, obviously the first aspect of being passionate about life is being joyful. Um, doing things that make you happy, doing these things that give you joy. Uh, just in general, having a more optimistic attitude about life um, makes it really easy to be passionate about living. You know? Because uh, if you're constantly walking around being negative and looking at the bad side of everything and like constantly living under this storm cloud, then obviously you're not going to be passionate about living because living sucks. So if you put yourself in a position where living doesn't suck, where life is actually really good because you put yourself in joyful situations, and even when you're going through hard times, you try to always look at the silver lining, like always go for the positive side of things, that you will find being passionate about life kind of comes naturally because you get so excited about living because life is so joyful, you know? So uh, do that. Um, also, don't do things that stress you out. Like, obviously this is to a point because certain levels of stress are actually healthy. It is healthy to have certain levels of stress. But once you reach that like max stress level, then your body just doesn't know how to operate. And then that's when life gets sucky, right? So don't do things that stress you out. Don't do things that you don't enjoy doing. Like um, here, an example from my life is um, I did gymnastics for 12 years. I started when I was three, um, and I just did gymnastics forever. It was my thing. I freaking, I loved it. I loved gymnastics. It was my life, pretty much. I didn't really do anything else. I did gymnastics. Um, and then I started doing high school season. And at this point in time, like, I still found joy in gymnastics. I still, I still thought it was fun. Um, but... It was, it was just something I did. It wasn't something I really enjoyed going to. It wasn't something that I got super excited to go to. It was just something I did. I didn't really know how to do anything else, you know? Because gymnastics had been my life since I was three. Like, I really didn't do anything else. And I didn't know what to do with myself if I didn't do gymnastics. So I kept doing it. Um, and so my freshman season, my season of my freshman year, was like really really stressful because I decided to do gymnastics and marching band at the same time and um, those seasons are like literally right on top of each, of each other practices were always on top of each other competitions were very often on top of each other and it was super stressful for me to try to pick which one I liked more um, because I loved both of them 
and so I was super stressed out like my freshman season of high like my freshman high school season of gymnastics like I hated it it was not enjoyable at all um also I wasn't really friends with any of the girls the girls were kind of mean to me like it just it was not a good situation and so then my sophomore year of high school I had decided that I was going to not do high school season but I was just going to do the normal gymnastics that I had been doing for my whole life and that's just what I was going to do and um then one of my coaches uh talked me into doing high school season so I did it and I despised it I hated every second of it I didn't enjoy the skills I was doing I didn't enjoy the meets I didn't do enjoy practice I didn't enjoy the girls I was spending time with I didn't enjoy any part of it I hated it um and my dad had given me a blessing at the beginning of the school year and said make sure you do things that bring you joy if you're not having fun doing it don't do it and um that was a very flat out way of telling me that you know like dude this isn't this isn't bringing you happiness you need to stop um, and I never really looked at life that way because, again, I had done gymnastics my whole life. Like, I didn't know anything else. And so I took a lot of time to reflect. And at this point in time, I did gymnastics at my normal gym. I did gymnastics at my high school. And I worked at, the gym, at my normal gym. Like, that's all I did. And so then I was like, okay, I have to, I have to think about this. Like, am I enjoying it? No. Do... I see myself doing this in the future and being happy. No. Does this bring me happiness right now? No, it doesn't. So um, I took a big step in my life and I quit. Um, now, again, this isn't like, a, yes, quit life. No, no. Like, this is just, you know, for my situation and for the point that I was at in my life right then, gymnastics wasn't where I needed to be and wasn't what I needed to be doing. I didn't find joy in it. It made my days stressful. I loathed going to practice all day long, which then made my do my days just not good because I was constantly stressing about gymnastics. Um, and then once I stopped doing it and I find found other passions that I had in life and I continued going on with life without gymnastics, I ended up being so much happier. I made much better friends. I had a good community of people that I um, hung out with. I still did marching band and I could make it my sole priority and I loved marching band. So like, you know, that is an example of if you don't find joy in doing it, don't do it. It's really hard to sacrifice things in our life that we think will make us happy in the future. But if it's not making you happy right now, it's not gonna make you happy in the future. That's just the way it is. Um, so. There you go. Step number one. If it don't bring you joy, don't do it. Okay. Um, step number two, do things during your day. Like, don't sit in your room all day watching TV. Don't sit in your room all day scrolling through social medias. Like, get up and do something every day. Um, one thing, so I follow a lot of fitness people on Instagram because that's like what, that's what I'm super passionate about. I really enjoy fitness and that's what I'm going to school for, right? So um, one of these people that I follow, they said, um, motivation doesn't come first. Motivation comes after discipline. And I think that's really important to finding passion in life because Honestly, like, this is just a fact. You're never going to be motivated to do anything. Very, very rarely will you actually be motivated to get up and go do something. You just have to get up and go do it. Um, it's, it's like, um, it's just, it's just a fact. And it's kind of a hard part of life that, um, and it's kind of, you know, it's just hard being like, okay, I know I need to do stuff with my day, but I really don't want to, so I'm not going to. That's really easy. Don't take the easy way out. You can't be passionate about something if you take the easy way out and you never really understand what being passionate about it means, you know? So you can't be passionate about living if you are never actually getting up and living, you know? Um, so make plans with friends. Make sure, you, like, don't, again, don't make plans with friends so much that it, like, stresses you out and you, like, can't comprehend life, right? But, like, 
make sure at least once a day you're going out and you're just doing something. Maybe you're going on a walk. Maybe you're going to get lunch with friends. Maybe you're, you know, just like, just go do something. Um, and after a while, like, it'll become, it'll become habit. And you'll find so much joy in spending time with those people. You'll find so much joy in spending time in the sun or in the cold or whatever it is. Like, go out and do something with your life. Um, so, yeah. There's not really anything else you could say about that. Okay. <laughs> um, and then the next one I have is, this is something that I actually, I do a lot. And I'm not super great at it yet because... I am a really bad procrastinator. Don't do that. Um, but like, you know, like make a list of things you want to accomplish in the day. Make it a reasonable list, obviously. You don't want to have like 30 things on your to-do list for the day. You'll get stressed out and you won't do them. But if you make a list of like three or four things that you're like, yes, today I will absolutely 100% do these things, then go throughout your day making sure you get those things done. Um, then by the end of the day, you feel accomplished, uh, you feel successful, and like even though it's like the many accomplishments along the way, those many accomplishments get larger the more you do them. Like they add up, they really do add up. And as you continue to do, like cross things off your checklist, it just makes you happier because you feel successful, you know? So like even if you have a really bad day, you can still go to bed at night and be like, Today wasn't the best day, but I did the three things on my to-do list, and I can feel good about that, right? So, like, you know, do that. That also ties into the last point of making sure you get up and do stuff. Like, if on your to-do list is to get up and go on a walk, and then you actually go on the walk, you've crossed two birds with one stone, my guy. So, like, you know, it's a good way to live life. I totally understand if you don't like making lists. Because sometimes lists stress people out. I totally get that. I just started this list thing like this year at college. My first semester, I started doing these list of things. So like, it is something that you kind of have to get in the habit of doing. And it's kind of hard at first. But it definitely is rewarding. So if you want to try something new, start making lists. Um, if you know for sure that that doesn't work out for you, then figure out something else to do. Okay. Um, and then... Uh, this one is really vague, and if you want me to make a completely separate video on this specific bullet point, I 100% will, because this is also something that I am super, super, super passionate about, and that I have experienced in my life, and that I have been working on for, honestly, probably five years. Like, um, anyway, so I could talk about this all day. So, like, if you need me to make a better, vid like, a more elaborate video on this specific bullet point, I will. Anyway, so the last point is, um, how do I phrase this? Find you. Find you. Find out who you are and who you want to be. Um, again, this is a really big thing, but if you find in life things that make you happy, things that bring you passion, like that you're passionate about, and you continue to do those things. And you are constantly working not on um, making sure that you're good for other people, but making sure that you're good for yourself and making sure that you're good for Heavenly Father. You will find so much more fulfillment and confidence than you ever could through any other form of worldly things. So make sure you know where you are spiritually, you know where you want to be spiritually, and make sure you get there. And then make sure you know where you are physically and mentally. No, find out where you want to be physically and mentally and get there. That is the are the two things you cannot procrastinate. You cannot push those to the back burner. You cannot do it. It is way harder to be passionate about anything if you are not passionate about yourself first. Okay? Um... There are certain times in life where it is okay to put yourself first because we cannot help other people and we cannot be there for other people if we are not there for ourselves. So um, that is something, again, I've been working on this, I kid you not, for five years. 
and it's been really hard and it's been um, a big journey and a big step in my life but I can 100% see that when I look at myself from three years ago and I look at myself now that I am in a way better place than I was that I have grown spiritually that I have grown mentally and physically that I am where I'm supposed to be at this point in time in my life um, and it's like it's kind of a hard thing to reach and it's kind of a hard thing to find um, and it takes a lot of time focusing on yourself and I know that I've talked about this before too it takes a lot of um, sitting alone and figuring out what is going on in your head and what is going on around you and how those two things work together um, and it's hard it's really really hard but it is 100% worth it and I can guarantee you that once you find that confidence and that fulfillment in um, Heavenly Father and in, in yourself that you will have uncomprehensible experiences in life and you will feel so good so whoo well that was real deep okay <laughs> so yes that's it for today um, I have my dad jokes today so we're gonna look at those I'm gonna drop the so my head might get cut off, but that's fine. Okay, so let's see, make sure I don't re... <laughs> okay, so this one says, What do you call a bald prisoner? A smooth criminal. <laughs> that's funny. What do you call a horse that moves around a lot? Unstable. <laughs> that's funny. What do you call a snowman with a six-pack? An abdominal snowman. Abdominal? Oh my gosh, do you get it? <laughs> abdominal snowman? Oh my goodness, that one is hilarious. What's a foot long and slippery? I think I might have read this one to you guys last week. A slipper. <laughs> oh my goodness, these are too good. Okay. How do Egyptian ants communicate? With pheromones. <laughs> oh my goodness. That one was good. Okay. Uh, did you hear about the football player who got arrested? He really needs to work on his defense. <laughs> that was funny. Why did the Greek goddess get a parking ticket? Demeter wasn't working. <laughs> Okay, um, there you go. That's it for today. <laughs> um, okay, so make sure you go and subscribe, 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 no, follow. There we go. That's the word. Make sure you go and follow my C Family 2 Instagram account. Um, that's where I try to post stuff for the this channel and then just like positive stuff in general um also if you have any questions you can put them in the comments or you can dm me if you have anything you want me to talk about you can put them in the comments or dm me on instagram um because i really do want to hear what you guys want me to talk about i really do want to hear what your guys's opinions are um because it makes my job just a little bit easier okay also, um, oh no, oh, right, uh, so I'm gonna try and start doing a, like, like a series thing, um, I don't know if that's the best way of putting it, but like a series thing where I'm gonna start, hopefully, 
to make videos of all of the lessons in Preach My Gospel that missionaries use um, when teaching investigators um, as practice for me for becoming a missionary, but also it's just like, it's just good things to know. So if you are ever just, you know, in the mood to go learn about the basics of the gospel, then that's going to be coming to you soon. Um, cool. Don't think I have any other announcements or things I need to say. So have an amazing week and do good things. Be optimistic and find passion in living because I know you can and it's totally worth it. And I love you guys and have a good week. Okay, bye.